if you want great aim, you need to be arm aiming. So why does it work so well and how exactly is it done? The power of arm aiming is only really obvious when we look at the aiming action as a whole. Our fingers are great at tiny movements and adjustments. The wrist excels at small to medium sized movements that make up the bulk of our actual aiming and the arm can handle large movements like swiping across your mouse pad. But that's not all. The arm's purpose is to get the hand where it needs to be to do the aiming. You can think of it like handwriting. The fingers and wrist do the writing and the arm puts the hand where it needs to be on the page. For this reason, the idea of wrist aiming and arm aiming being two competing options is misleading. They're both wrong. A hybrid approach is best. Any technique that ignores a part of the chain is simply removing a tool from your aiming toolkit. We perform best when each component gets to do their job. So how do you include your arm? Well, if you currently have your wrist at the edge of the desk like this, that aiming toolkit is looking really empty. Plus, you're also running the risk of injury by having the edge of your desk slowly soar away at your tendons, increasing your risk of RSI, so this isn't just for aiming performance, but for your quality of life too. And with all that out of the way, this is an example of what the final result should look like. And this is how you get there. The first cue is to sit with your belly against the edge of your desk. This lets us get our arms closer to the desk, Otherwise, we have to stretch them out, which isn't comfortable and it makes aiming harder. Now, you might find that the armrests of your chair are hitting the desk and blocking you from moving in. If that's the case, lower them if possible or simply remove them. You won't really need them anyway. The desk becomes your armrest. And secondly, we plonk our forearms down. The idea is for your shoulders to sit in a nice neutral position where you aren't pushing them forward or pulling them back. Ideally, you'll have at least 50% of your arm on the desk. If you were wondering about the wide angle of my arm, this will largely come down to your own physiology. If I bring it in, my upper arm can get caught on my lat, and if I tighten the angle, my shoulder has to roll forwards. If I then pull it back, my forearm is now sticking too far off the edge. So you don't want any points of discomfort. Your ideal angle should feel neutral and natural. In this position, it's important not to restrict yourself to only pivoting from your elbow, which could be a habit you have from using your chair's armrests. This restricts our range of motion and can stop our arm from getting our hand to certain areas. We want to keep it nice and loose. Now that you're in the right position, I'll rapid fire some fixes to some problems that may have just popped up for you. If you're in this position, but you're still just aiming with your hand and can't seem to get the arm involved, there are two things you can try. And I had this same problem when I first started trying to arm aim. What fixed it for me was getting more of my forearm onto the desk to force the issue. You can do this without compromising your shoulder position by angling your setup. Now my whole arm is on the desk. Second is to use a lower mouse sensitivity. If you're playing on a very high sensitivity, you may simply never need to move your arm. You also don't need to stick with these fixes forever. Once arm aiming starts to feel comfortable, you can just transition back to a front-on setup. With your arms so far onto the desk, you may now have this gap between the edge and your mouse pad. If you don't have a desk pad like this, and depending on the surface, this might really restrict your movement. To combat this, you can orient your mouse pad like this, and you'll still have plenty of room to swipe around. And finally, if your arm feels like it's sticking to the mouse pad or it's just really hard to move around, you may want to try using a sport sleeve to reduce friction. Or you can wash your arm with soap and water before playing, which will remove any clamminess or oil, giving your arm a nice smooth glide. You may also benefit from raising your chair height. If it's too low, your arm may be sitting too heavily on the desk. And with that being said, your chair and desk height are surprisingly useful tuning knobs for your aim and are something that I've spent a lot of time optimizing to great effect, which I can show you how to do in this video here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch you in the next one.